Hello, good evening. Hi, Enrique. How are you today? I'm in great. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. Hello, Dr. Arnulfo. How are you? Good evening, Oscar Arnulfo. How are you today? I find the channel fine. And you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, very good. Too ready. Too ready. Too ready. Okay, very good. I I don't understand more or less the activity yesterday the activity yesterday activity which one the one about the when, picture no no when when you uh, identify uh, this this pronoun they are is Ah, okay, okay, okay. I know what you're talking about. I understand now. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, for example, 
Now that we have time. Okay, now we say that with any verb, with any verb, any verb except one verb, the verb to be. Okay, for example, right here. Okay. Okay, with any verb, we use do and does. Ah, hold on, let me, let me share, let me share because you are not looking at it. Okay, good evening, Jacqueline. Okay, now any verb, any verb, cualquier verbo, except one, except one, except uno, the verb to be, you are going to use do and does. Okay, but with the verb to be, you use am, um, are, and is. For example, here you need to use the verb to be. So what are you going to use? Okay, the verb to be that corresponds to this pronoun. So you say, she is nice. Because the verb to be is the only verb that doesn't need auxiliary. It is he, the verb to be is his own auxiliary. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, the same happens here, main negatives. Okay, here, what is the verb that they are using is. So the negative will be with that. What is the negative of this? Isn't, isn't boring. It isn't boring. Okay. Now here, can you see right here? The verb to be again. So for all the others, I'm going to use do or does in the negatives. But with the verb to be, I use the same verb to be. I am not late. The verb to be is the only one, is the only one that doesn't need do or does. Let's see, uh -huh. here we have one that it says, use the verb to be to make questions, to make questions, okay. What is the form of the verb to be for you? Are, but to make questions, I have to put are before the pronoun. So are you from Paris? And then we have the question. Okay? Is Why? A ruler when, is a ruler when used to be for, not used to it does? No, the, uh -huh, only with the verb to be. Es el único verbo que él solo va a hacer sus negativas, afirmativas y preguntas. No necesita do or does. El único. De ahí para cualquier otro verbo, si sí necesito el do y el das. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿En cuál nos quedamos? Parece que habíamos hecho el 11, ¿verdad? ¿O no habíamos hecho el 11? Creo que nos faltaba el 12, el 13, el 14 y el 15. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me. Let me see uh, everybody, okay? Good evening, Christina, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, very good, Cesar, good evening, Cesar, how are you? Fine. So okay, so good. very good. Uh, let me see, how are you, Bessie? Fine, okay, very good. And let me see. Okay, remember that today, before I forget, today, Caesar, we uh we can have a private class for 10 minutes from 10 to 10 12 to 10 10. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so so be ready, okay? Very good. Good afternoon. Good evening, uh, Jeremias. How are you? So fine, teacher. Okay, very good. Very happy to hear that. Hello, Catherine. How are you? Hello, Francisco. How are you? Hello, hello, teacher. Very good. Hello, Roberto. How are you? Fine. And you, teacher? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Sandra, how are you, Sandra? Oh, Sandra went off. Okay. And Catherine, how are you, Catherine? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? What about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay. Very good. Okay, uh, before we do an activity, I would like to review with you questions, negatives, and affirmative statements, okay? But I also need to get into this because I have another document that I don't know if I sent. Okay? Okay, I'll be with you in just a second. I'm just sending uh, another file to, to the group, okay? So you can, so you can check it out, okay? Okay, so I just send you to the group another another document, another, so that is maybe we need it later this evening and tomorrow, okay, to practice more. Okay, right now, I would like to share with you this. Okay, you remember that we were practicing with this, right? Okay, these are statements, and these are more statements in the simple present. And then we have a set of questions and negatives. Okay, so we can practice. Okay, let's see. Jeremias, what is number one? Ah, Jeremias is not there. Caesar, what is number one, Caesar? London is London England. is in England. Very good. London is London is in England. Okay, number two, Roberto Antonio. The summer is hot. The summer is hot. Very good. Okay, uh, Catherine. She writes very well. She drives very well, very good. She drives very well. Okay, Francisco, number four. Francisco, are you there, Francisco? Hello, hello. Yeah, Francisco, we are working on number four. Oscar, number four, Oscar. 
They are. Open the Estoy store, teniendo problemas de conexión, teacher. Ok, ok, go ahead. Ajá, uh -huh, Oscar, they? They are open store at 8 p.m. Ajá, uh -huh, pero Oscar, nosotros no usamos are con el presente simple, ¿se acuerda? Ok, ok. No usamos, ¿verdad? usamos el verbo directamente, ¿ok? No usamos, no usamos el, el verbo cero estar. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? They open. Ajá, very good. They open. At 8 o'clock. They open the store at 8 o'clock. Very good. Jacqueline. What is the next one? Linda is a, a very pretty girl. Again, I couldn't hear you. Linda? She's a very pretty girl. Ah, it's a very pretty girl. Okay, very good. Enrique, number six. I have several jobs. I have several jobs. Very good. The next one, uh, Bessie. Water boil at 100 degrees. Okay, now, but remember, water is third person singular. Okay, instead of water, I use it. Okay. So it will be water boils, right? Because this is third person singular, right? Okay, Christina, number eight. Okay, water freeze at zero degree. Okay, so water freeze. freezes. Freezes. Uh huh, freezes. Why? Because uh, water zero. is. Third person singular. Okay. Okay, very good. The next one, uh, Mario. My sister. My sister speaks English. Uh huh, but because she's my sister. I have to write the yes. My sister hola, hola, hola. speaks. Hola, hola, hola. Yes, I can hear you, Mario. Uh -huh. okay, but okay. my sister, because it's she, third person singular, I have to add the yes. My sister speaks English. Uh, Jeannie, number 10. Um, he has. A big apartment. He has a, a big apartment. He has a big apartment. Very good. The verb is had that because we're talking about he, he has. Okay, very good. Uh, Sandra, number 11. A triangle have three homers. Ah, a triangle has three corners. Tres esquinas. Very good, very good. Jeremias, number 12. My bird date is in June. It's in June, very good. The next one, let me see. Uh, Catherine? Books have page. pages. Book have pages. The, the plural of page is pages. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Jacqueline, the next one, number 14. Dogs are good friends. Dogs are good friends. Very good. Number 15, Oscar Arnulfo. 
I am work hard. Ajá. Pero ¿por qué usamos am? Mire cómo están los demás verbos, va. Solo donde es verbo, donde dice verbo ser o estar, uso am, are, o is. I work hard. Ajá, exactly. I work hard. Okay, very good. Now, everybody, repeat after me. London is in England. London, London is, is in England. England. The summer is hot. The summer, the summer is hot. 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 He drives very well. She drives, drives very well. Very well. They open the store at eight. Linda is a very pretty girl. Linda is a very pretty girl. I have several jobs. I have several jobs. Water boils at a hundred degrees. Water boils Water freezes at zero degrees. Water freezes My sister speaks English. My sister speaks English. He has a big apartment. He has a big apartment. A triangle has three corners. My birthday is in June. My, My birthday is in June. June. Yeah. Books have cages. Books have cages. cages. Dogs are good friends. Dogs Dogs are good good friends. friends. I work hard. I work hard. I work hard. I work hard. hard. Okay, very good. Any question about vocabulary? Questions about vocabulary? No. No. Are you sure? I, I have a question. Yes, sir. Water boil. Why? La número, la número siete. Boil. Uh -huh. Boils. El, el agua hierve. Boil es hervir. Mm -hmm. Entonces, el agua hierve a 100 grados. Ok. En okay. water freezes, el agua se congela a los 0 grados. Ok, more questions? Ok, very good. Bien, vamos a pasar lista, ok. Ok, very good. Let's see. Uh, let me stop sharing so I can go here. Okay, Bessie Stephanie Mendez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Andrés Ramos Garcia. Cesar Eduardo Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Eh, Cristina Marisol Garcia. Present. Thank you. Delia Noemí Valiente. Delia Noemí Valiente, Enrique Américo Molina, present. Thank you. Francisco Edgardo Méndez, present. Okay, very good, Francisco. Jeremías Adonai Miranda, present. Thank you. Eh, Karen Yesenia López, Karen Yesenia López. Uh, Catherine Stephanie Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Mario Mauricio Montano. Present. Thank you. Uh, Oscar Alejandro Molina. Okay. 
Ramón Alexander Mesa Cuadra. Ramón. Ok. Roberto Antonio Cruz. No, perdón. Roberto Antonio Ortiz. Present. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Maricela Cepeda. Present. No, este. Ok. Susana Carolina Guevara. Este. No. ¿Por qué? Susana okay. Carolina Guevara. Ok. Uh, Xochil Eneida Vázquez, Valencia. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Present. Okay, thank you very much. And and uh, Jenny Suleima. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, let's continue, guys. And a night teacher. Huh? And a night present. Who? Yen and I. Oscar Viatoro. Ah, Oscar Nulfo Viatoro. I'm sorry. That's correct. Oscar Nulfo Viatoro. Correct, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, yeah, okay. Very good. Now, uh, let's get back. Okay, now I'm gonna share with you. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're gonna keep on working on the, on the... Okay, very good. Now, these ones are uh, sentences, okay? So go ahead. Let's see, Sandra Maricela, number one. Daniel Fly. Flies, remember? Flies, flies. because we're talking about he. So Daniel okay. flies. Okay, very flies. good. Uh -huh. Complete the sentence, Daniel. Daniel flies to Paris once a year. Once a year, very good. Roberto Antonio, number two. She never does her work. That is correct, very good. She never does her homework. Okay, Jeremias, Lisa. Turn on your microphone. Lisa tries to help. Tries. Uh -huh. Lisa tries to help. Very good. Uh, Jacqueline, number four. Mark goes home at seven. Uh -huh. Mark goes home at seven. Very good. Enrique, number five. The baby cries every night. The, ver the baby cries every night. Very good. Next, Cristina. He misses her a lot. He misses her a lot. Very good. Mario. Your studies really hurt. Uh -huh. Your studies. Really hard, very good. Cesar. A boy kisses a girl. A boy kisses a girl, very good. Bessie, number nine. Joanna buys new stuff all the time. Joanna buys new stuff all the time, very good. Uh, Jeannie, number 10. 
Tim watches this show every night. Tim watches this show every night. Very good. Let me see. Catherine, number, number 11. Sarah says this all the time. Okay, pronunciation. Says. Don't pronounce ah. Uh. Uh-huh. Okay, I got it. Says. Uh-huh. Says. 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 Sarah says this all the time. Okay, very good. Francisco, number 12. The teacher teaches. Uh -huh. The teacher teaches. Teachers. Uh -huh. Remember, the teacher, third person singular. He or she. So the teacher teaches. Our new theme. Excellent. Very good. Sandra Maricela, again. He pays me well. He pays me well. Very good. Let's see. Oscar Arnulfo. Barbara watches the ditches. Barbara watches the ditches. And Leo watches the floor. And Leo watches the floor. Very good. Jacqueline. Nick plays tennis twice a week. Uh -huh. Nick plays tennis twice, twice a week. Okay. Very good. Catherine. The girls always pushes somebody. Uh -huh. The girl always pushes somebody. Very good. Jeremias. Isabella enjoys enjoys listening to music. Very good, very good. Enrique. David never misses milk and eggs. Misses milk and eggs. Very good. Ginny. The bee buses. The B buses, okay, very good. And the last one, let me see. Uh, Bessie? Taylor fixes cars. Taylor fixes cars. Okay, very good. Now, I want everybody to pronounce, uh, to repeat after me. Daniel flies to Paris once a year. She never does her homework. She never Lisa tries to help her sister. Lisa tries to help her sister. Mar goes home at seven. The baby cries every night. The baby, the baby, the baby cries, cries, cries every night. He misses her a lot. He misses her a lot. Joe studies really hard. Joe studies really hard. A boy kisses a girl. A boy kisses a, 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 a girl. Joanna buys new stuff all the time. Joanna buys new stuff all the time. Tim watches this show every night. Tim watches this show every night. Sarah says this all the time. Sarah says this all the time. The time. The teacher teaches us new things. The teacher teaches us new things. He pays me well. He pays me well. Barbara washes the dishes and Leo washes the floor. 
Barbara washes the floor. Nick plays tennis twice a week. This girl always pushes somebody. This girl always pushes somebody. Somebody. Isabella enjoys listening to music. Isabella enjoys listening to music. David never mixes milk and eggs. The B buses. The B buses. Taylor fixes cars. Taylor, Taylor fixes cars. cars. Okay, do you have any questions about vocabulary? Teacher, what is stuff? Stuff? Okay. Like Stop quiere decir las cosas que yo tengo. Por ejemplo, en su oficina, you have the telephone, you have your computer, you have your stapler, tiene su teléfono, tiene su computadora, tiene su engrapadora, todas esas cosas. That is your stop. Por ejemplo, en, uh, en el... En la sala, en la sala usted tiene el sofá, you have the TV, you have the table, all those things, you have a lamp, all those things are the living room stuff, las cosas del living room. ¿Está clear? Yes, clear. Okay, yes. very good. More questions. Twice, teacher. Which one? Twice. 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 Two times. Do veces. Two times. Twice. Do veces. So Nick play tennis two times a week. More questions? Um, the big boat. Ah, the B buses. ¿Cómo le hacen la, las abejas? Ok, eso significa bus. La abeja le hace... Ok, bus. The B bus. Ok, more questions? No more. Ok, no now. More. Very good. Now he comes the questions. Ok. The same thing. All we have to write is the auxiliary, the correct auxiliary for each one. Okay, now let's see. Cristina, number one. Am I? No, no am I. What are the auxiliaries that we are working? Um, do. Ah, do and does. Okay, so what is the auxiliary here? Now read the read the complete question. Okay. Enciendo su micrófono, Cristina. Okay, yes. Do I? Uh -huh. Wake up at I wake up at five in the morning. Uh -huh. Do I? Do I wake up at five in the morning? Very good. Mario, number two. Para you, what is the auxiliary? Das. No, it's not das. Do. Do. Ah, do. Very good. So what is the auxiliary do. here? Mario? Do you go? Do you go? To work by train. Do you go to work by train? Very good. Cesar, number three. Um, does she coffee uh, every morning? Wait, wait, wait. Does she? Does she coffee? No, does she? Drink. Does she drink coffee? Every, every morning? morning? Very good. That is correct. 
Ok, Roberto Antonio, number four. Does he smoke? Does he smoke? Very good. The next one, Enrique. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Very good. The next one, Ginny. Do we dance? Do we dance? Very good. Bessie, the next one. Hello, Bessie. Are you there, Bessie? Hello. Catherine? Do they travel? Do they travel? Very good. The next one is Sandra Maricela. Does Emma cook well? Does Emma cook well? Very good, very good. Bessie, number nine. Does Alexander exercise? Exercise regularly. Exercise regularly. Does Alexander exercise regularly? Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, Jeremias. Turn on your microphone, Jeremias. Uh, do, do you like well? No, do I? Do I? Do I? Look well. Look well. Uh -huh. Do I look well? Me miro bien? Okay, very good. Jeannie. Do you rest enough? Do you rest enough? Very good. Let me see. Oscar Arnulfo. Does William work too hard? Does William work hard? Very good. Okay, too hard. Okay, Jacqueline. Do they travel often? Do they travel often? Very good, Roberto. Does Anthony go to sleep too late? Does Anthony go to sleep too late? Very good. Enrique, number 15. Do you bake cakes? Do you bake cakes? Okay, questions about vocabulary. Questions about vocabulary, no questions? No question. Are you sure? You rest and know? Uh, eh, descansa usted lo suficiente? Rest es descansar. Descansa usted suficiente? More questions? What is the meaning, does he hurt? Dolió. Le duele, le duele, va, porque estamos en presente. Le duele. Does it hurt? Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Now the next one is for you. Okay, this one we are going to do it tomorrow. No, these are negative. Let's do it right now. Okay. So what is number one? Let me see. Eh, Cristina, number one. I am not. No, no, I'm. Am. No, I'm. Am. No, I'm not. No, 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 I'm. What is the auxiliary that we are using? Do and does. So yes, here we don't I'm. use am. Uh -huh. I, I don't. I, I don't ride horses. Uh -huh, very good. I don't ride horses. horses. I don't ride horses. Uh, 
Okay. Very good. Jeannie, number two. You don't sell cars? You don't sell cars. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see who is going to be number three. Catherine, number three. He doesn't. Uh -huh, he doesn't. Bring gifts. He doesn't bring gifts. He doesn't bring gifts. Very good. Uh, uh, Enrique, number four. She doesn't take pictures. She doesn't take pictures. She doesn't take pictures. Very good. Bessie, number five. It doesn't cost too much. It doesn't cost too much. Okay, very good. The next one, Roberto Antonio. We don't seem so happy. We don't seem so happy. Ah, we don't seem. We don't seem so happy. Eh, Mario, number seven. They don't. Uh -huh, they don't. Buy new products. They don't buy new products. Okay, very good. Eh, Cristina, number eight. Michael doesn't dance. Michael doesn't dance. Very good. Okay. Enrique, number nine. Michael doesn't run fast. Doesn't run. Okay, but this one is Michelle. Okay? Michelle. Okay, let's see. Sandra. Number 10. Dina and Kay don't, don't work every day. Team, team and Kay don't team and Kay don't work every day. Very good. Number 11. Okay, let me see. Caesar. Lucas and Clara. Um, don't eat meat. Don't eat beef. Meat. Okay, very good. Oscar Arnulfo. I don't swing much. I don't swing much. Very good. I don't swing much. Jacqueline. I don't. You, you don't. You don't ski at all. You don't ski at all. Okay, very good. Uh, next, let me see. Volunteer for next one. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Perfect. And the last one. We don't, we don't give up. Hey, very good. Very good. We don't give up. Okay. What is the meaning of give up? No rendirse. No rendirse, ¿verdad? So, nosotros no nos rendimos. Okay, very good. Repeat after me. Ah, any questions about vocabulary? Yeah. No? Okay, repeat after me. I don't ride horses. I don't ride, I don't ride, horses. ride horses. You don't sell cars. You, you don't, don't sell, sell cars. cars. You don't sell cars. He doesn't bring gifts. He doesn't, he doesn't bring gifts. He doesn't bring gifts. She doesn't take pictures. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't, take, doesn't take pictures. It doesn't cost so much. 
It doesn't it cost, cost so much. much. It doesn't cost so much. We don't seem so happy. We don't, we don't seem, seem so, so happy. happy. Okay, what is the meaning of seem? Parecer. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Entonces, nosotros no parecemos tan felices. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. They don't buy new products. They don't buy, they don't don't buy, buy new, new products. products. Michael doesn't dance. Michael, Michael doesn't, doesn't dance. dance. Michelle doesn't run fast. Michelle, Michelle doesn't, doesn't run, run fast. fast. Tim and Kate don't work every day. Tim and Kate don't work every day. Work every day. Lucas and Clara don't eat meat. I don't swim much. I, I don't, don't swim, swim much. much. Hey, you don't ski at all. You don't, you don't, ski, ski, at all. don't ski at all. At all. You don't ski at all. You don't, you don't ski, ski at, all. at all. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. hurt. We don't give up. We don't, we don't give, give up. up. Okay, so you see, we finish this. Uh, well, this uh, exercise. Okay, very good. Now, take a look. I'm going to go to the book. Okay? I'm going to go to the book. Where do I have the book? I lost the book. Ah, it's right here. The book is right here. Okie dokie, here. No, the book, the book, where is the book? Where do I have the book? Ah, right here. Okay. So, now in, your, in the book on page, on page, remember that we finished yesterday these questions, right? Uh, do you work in the company? Do they check products? Do we listen to customers? Do I buy new material? Do Milena and Pablo design logos? Okay, now here we are going to, we are going to ask partners questions about someone else's daily routines and say what they don't, what they do and they don't. Okay. For example, okay, we're going to ask them, okay, uh, these questions. Uh, do you work in a company? Do you check products? Do, do you listen to customers? Do you buy new material? Do you design logos? Do you get up early? Do you call other companies? Do you transport the product? Do you check the policies? Is that clear? All those questions. Okay. Está claro que lo vamos a hacer. No, no está claro. No lo oigo claro. Bien. Vamos. No, a... no, okay. No claro. Vaya. Todos tienen estas preguntas, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Vaya. Okay. Y todos tienen estas preguntas, ¿se acuerda? Vaya, todas se las voy a preguntar a mi compañero. Por ejemplo, do you create software? Do you repair computers? Do you install antivirus? Do you sell computer programs? Do you exchange information about programs? Vaya, do you keep track on the share on the sales? Do you write reports? Do you buy new merchandise? Do you receive money from sales? Do you decide what to buy? Do you do you get up early? Do you call other companies? Do you transport the product? Do you check the policies? Va, y aquí nosotros le vamos a poner el nombre y le vamos a poner de todas esas preguntas cuáles nos contestó el que sí hace. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Hola. Yes. Yes. Aquí voy a poner, for example, Mario. 
Le voy a hacer todas las preguntas y aquí voy a poner lo que él hace de esas preguntas. Solo, solo las que él hace. Ahora, ¿cómo voy a contestar? Como es práctica, yo voy a contestar. ¿Do I get up early? Yes, I get up early. Or no, I don't get up early. Do you call other companies? Yes, I call other companies. Or no, I don't call other companies. Do you transport the product? Yes, I transport the product. Or no, I don't transport the product. Do you check the policies? Yes, I check the policies. Or no, I don't check the policies. ¿Está claro? Vamos a hacer todas estas preguntas. Más estas. Todas estas. ¿Está claro? Y solo voy a anotar. Yes. Solo voy a anotar. I'm going to write here only the one that the person does. Solo voy a anotar las que, las que él me contesta que sí hace. ¿Está claro? ¿Aló? Aún no. Yes. Sí. Yes. Ah, ok. So, yes. let me... Ok, vamos. Ok. So, I'm going to stop sharing and let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, Ramón is here. Ok, 12. ¿Quién se nos ha ido? Let me see. Bueno. Ok, so I'm going to make six couples, ok. ¿Entendió, Ramón, lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, Lee. Ok, very good. So, I'm going to make six groups. Ok, Jeremías en Roberto, room number one. Bessie en Cristina, room number two. Ramón en Jenny, room number three. Mario Montano en Sandra, room number four. Enrique en Jacqueline, room number five. Cesar en Oscar, room number six. Jacqueline, go to room number five, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Gloribel, room number five, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, okay.
buy new right. material. Okay. Do you design logo? No, I don't design logo. No, I don't. I don't design logo. Okay. Next question. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Remember that when you finish, no sé si ya, ya se preguntaron las dos. Eh, sí, estamos intentando hacer lo que nos cuesta un poco. Okay. Por eso es que estamos practicando en parejas. Okay. Okay. Cuando una termina de preguntar todas las preguntas, la otra le hace la otra pregunta, la misma pregunta, ¿verdad? Okay. 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 I'm gonna go to another group. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Gusta, cambiamos la pregunta. Sí. Esa. Do, sería, do you get, get up early? Early, correcto. Um, eh, ahí no sé por qué no recuerdo el, el significado de la palabra early. Early. Temprano. Temprano, ¿verdad? Early, temprano. So, do you temprano. get up early? Levantarse okay. temprano. Okay, um, yes, I do. Yes, no. I do. Completa. Hagamos la larga para que practiquemos más. Yes, I get up early. Okay, yes, I get up early. Very good. Do you call other companies? Um, yes, I call other companies. Every time. Uh, okay. Um, do you transport the product? No, I don't transport the product. Do you check the police? Yes, I do check the police. Ah, uh, yes, I check the policies. Okay. Check the police, ¿Qué ¿Qué es? police? exactamente. Okay. Okay. Chequear la política. las políticas. Ah. Las políticas. Uh -huh. La diferencia entre policies y uh, police o la, 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 los agentes de seguridad. Eh, ah, ¿no? ese es de Risa Police Officer. Risa Policies, a... políticas. Okay. Las políticas de la empresa, policies. ¿Ok? Y la diferencia entre eh, policeman está correcto. Policeman, ajá. Policeman es hombre. En police woman es mujer policía. Ok. ¿Y police officer? Police officer es oficial de policía. Ok. ¿Y es indistinto según el género? En police officer sí. Okay. Pero en police man, en police woman. Ahí sí hay distinción de género. Ok. okay. Eh, ya terminamos las preguntas. Ok, va, tomaron nota, ¿verdad? De las que dijeron que sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Va, ok. Ok, va, excelente. Va, lo voy a... Vamos a regresar a los grupos. Vamos a regresar todos. We're going to wait 25 seconds for the others. They are coming back. Okay, todos anotaron las cosas que sí hacen, ¿verdad? Porque ahora los voy a cambiar de pareja y usted le va a decir a su compañero las cosas que hacía, por ejemplo, Ginny le va a decir a quien le toque qué es lo que hacía Ramón. Y Ramón le va a decir a quien le, le toque qué es lo que hacía Ginny. ¿Está claro? Así como Cristina le va a decir a quien le toque qué es lo que hacía Bessie. 
Y Messi le va a decir a quién le toque, qué es lo que hacía Cristina, de esas preguntas, de las que dijo que sí. ¿Está claro? ¿Está claro, Jeremías? Yep. Yes, yes. Ok, bien. Ok, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ok. So I'm going to recreate the... Ok, let's see. Eh, César Eduardo en Enrique. No estuvieron juntos, va. Mario Montana en Ramón. Jeremías en Gini. Cristina en Sandra. Oscar en Jacqueline. Bessie en Roberto. Ok, go ahead and tell your classmate what are the things that the other classmate did. Ok. Does daily. Ok, Robert, you gotta go to room number six, Roberto. Ok. Room number six. Ok. más preguntas, pero tú vas a contestar lo que el compañero anterior dijo. ¿Sí o no? Sí, pero solo las afirmativas. Solo Por ejemplo, las afirmativas. de todas las preguntas que usted le hizo, las que contestó que sí, es la que usted le va a reportar a Jacqueline. ¿A ¿Con quién le tocó, Oscar? Con César. Entonces usted va a decir, César eh, checks policies. César gets up early. Ok, solo la que él le dijo que sí. Y luego ya, eh, Jacqueline le va a reportar a usted solo la que él dijo que sí. Ok. Ok, thank you. Very good, very good. I'm going to go to another room, ok? Ok. Ok, very good, guys. Ok, Jacqueline. ¿Comienza usted? Ella iba a contestar. Este, ¿Cuál de esas sí cumplía? ¿O en cuál de esas sí así uh, aplicaba por ejemplo usted toda la vida se levanta temprano aunque llegue tarde a trabajar no 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 va un momento ok con quién le tocó a ramón a usted le tocó con le tocó mario, con, mario. Eh, Gini, con Gini. con Gini. entonces usted le va a decir a mario solo la que ella contestó afirmativo por ejemplo eh. she gets up early She calls all the company. Solo la que ella le contestó positivo. Y cuando termine, Mario, aquí ¿con quién le tocó a usted? Con Sandra. Con Sandra. Entonces usted le va a decir, Sandra, de solo la que contestó ella positivo, afirmativo. ¿Ok? Ok, go ahead. I'm going to go to another room. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh, Mario, eh, Ginny... Get up early. Is every day. Sandra, no le escuché esa pregunta como que hay un poco de interferencia. Ok. Veamos, no, no vamos a hacer las preguntas otra vez. Lo que pasa, teacher, es que nosotros entendimos que íbamos a hacer las que teníamos en el libro. No, usted de las preguntas que le hizo, ¿con quién le tocó a usted, Cristina? Con Bessie. Con Bessie, usted le va a reportar a Sandra solo las cosas que Bessie dijo que sí. De todas las preguntas, las que ella dijo que sí, usted le va a reportar a Sandra. Y Sandra le va a reportar las cosas que hizo Mario. Solo de, la, de todas las preguntas, solo las que Mario contestó que sí. ¿Ya? Teacher, pero, o sea, fueron de las mismas preguntas que nosotros teníamos aquí, que es, do you cry to, cry to software? O sea, hicimos así como están aquí las positivas y las negativas, sabíamos cuáles iban a ser. La no, respuesta. por eso, usted le iba a hacer todas esas a Bessie. Ajá, de las que Bessie contestó afirmativa es la que usted le va a reportar a Sandra. Solo las afirmativas. 
Las negativas no, solo las afirmativas. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo Desi gets up early, Desi checks eh, policies, Desi eh, call all the companies, solo las positivas. Y luego Sandra le iba a reportar a usted solo las afirmativas de Mario. ¿Ok? Ok, very good. Go ahead, I'm going to go to another room. Okay. Okay. Matemáticas y todo eso, un montón de cosas es fácil. Bueno, a mí se, no se me complica mucho. Uh -huh. Why are you talking Spanish? No Spanish, only English, only English. <laughs> Vaya, ya terminaron ustedes. Yes. Vaya, yes. okay. Let's bring, let's bring everybody back, okay? Okay. Okay, everybody is back. Okay, good. Let me share with you the book. Okay, the book. Where do I have the book? Right here. Okay, now, uh, remember that we are practicing yes and no questions. Okay. Does she ask for assistance? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does he drive the truck on weekends? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does Elena make phone calls? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Does our company check the policies? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Is that clear? Okay, so we know how to make questions. Now, here. These are, uh, okay, repeat after me. Does she ask for assistance? Does she have for assistance? assistance? Yes, she does. For assistance. Yes, she does. She yes, she does. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Does he drive the truck on weekends? Does he drive the truck on weekends? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. No, no, he, he doesn't. doesn't. No, he doesn't. Does Elena make phone calls? Does, does Elena, Elena make, make phone calls? calls? Make yes, phone calls. yes, she does. Yes, yes she, she does. does. No, she doesn't. No, no she, she doesn't. doesn't. Does our company check the policies? Does our company check the policies? Check the policies? Check the policies? Yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, it does. yes, it does. No, it doesn't. No, no, he doesn't. doesn't. Okay, now look, these are the answers. Yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. So what is the question? Does he fix does he, the he AC on Friday? The AC on Friday. Okay, okay, very good, very good. So, does he fix the AC on Friday. On Friday, very good. The answer is, yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. Okay, bye. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you do number two. Okay, number two. Yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. Okay. Haga usted la pregunta y después la chequeamos. Okay. Escríbala. Escríbala. 
and then we check it, okay? No. Finish? Yes. What is the question? Does she send many emails to customer? Uh huh. Okay, the only thing is then that you have to remember is when we say does she and remember send the bear has to be on base form, no S. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does she send many? Emails. Does she send many emails on Wednesday? To Hello? Customers. To customers. Ah, to customers. To customers. to customers. Okay. There you go. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, now do does she send many emails to customers? Very good. Okay. Now. Do the other ones, please. Number three and number four. Okay, number three and number four. Do it on your notebook. Hurry up. Finish. Ah, you finished. Very good. Excellent. Uh, number three, does she send clean the first floor only? Excellent. Very good. Does she clean the first floor only? Very good. And number four. Okay, and wait, uh, wait, wait. We're gonna give another minute so they can write it, okay? Okay. And, and then we check it, and then we check it. Finish? Yes, yes. Okay, what is number four? Does Eric, does Eric keep, keep track, track on the on sales? sales? Uh -huh. Does Eric keep, keep track on the sales? What is keep track? Um, mantener el rastreo? Or... Uh, uh -huh. Keep track is... Uh, Mantener eh, el trayecto, la, seguimiento. La, la, la secuencia, el seguimiento. La dirección, no sé. Sí, es mantenerle las pistas a las ventas. Eso es lo que hacen los contadores, ¿verdad? Eh, todo lo llevan bien ordenadito, las facturas y todo eso. Entonces, eso es keep track, ¿verdad? Eh, mantener el... ¿Qué? ¿Cómo es que le, hay palabras para ellos? El rastreo, o oh, no, quiero ver. El, el control de los documentos, de, o sea. El seguimiento de la venta. La trazabilidad. Bueno, no sé, los que son contadores saben el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Keep track es llevar el control de las ventas. Keep track on the sales. Sería el registro de las ventas. El registro, ahí estaba. El Llevar el registro de las ventas. Ok. Very good. Va, fíjense bien. Vamos a hacer por lo menos one, two, three, four, five, six questions. Ok. Va. Dice, ask questions to a partner about his or her daily routine. So you write a paragraph describing what he or she does or doesn't do. Ok. Ahora, no sé si usted quiere hacer de este tipo de preguntas 
Do you send emails? Las del trabajo. Do you check? Do you ask for assistance? Do you drive a truck? Do you make phone calls? Uh, you can ask these questions too. Uh, do you work in a company? Do you check products? Do you listen to customers? Do you buy new material? Do you design logos? Or you can ask these questions. Do you work with software? Do you get money from sales? Do you sell antivirus? Do you write reports? Do you install programs? Okay, hagan por lo menos unas 10 preguntas. Esta va, estas seis y estas cinco, son once, más, más, do you send emails to customers? Do you drive a truck? ¿Verdad? De esas escojan diez. ¿Ok? Va, lo voy a volver a poner en pareja. Si usted va a hacer esas 10 preguntas, ¿de acuerdo? Y va a escribir la respuesta. Bueno, yo no soy de los que me gustaría que escribiera la respuesta, sino que, que usted se acordara que respondieron, porque después usted va a hacer un resumen. Va a escribir un párrafo. Diciendo, escribiendo las cosas que él hace y las cosas que no hace de esas 10 preguntas ¿estamos de acuerdo? hola, hola de acuerdo sí, vaya, entonces como tienen el libro usted escoja ¿verdad? do you fix air conditioners on Friday or do you fix computers do you clean the floor las que ustedes quieran ok, 10 questions ok Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let me get ready. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Vaya, ¿quién ingresó? ¿Quién está de regreso con nosotros? Okay, bien. Va a sobrar uno. Ese va a practicar conmigo, okay? Me va a hacer las preguntas a mí. Ahora, piense bien, como es práctica... No responden, no respondan preguntas cortas. Por ejemplo, si ustedes me preguntan, eh, do you check emails every day? Yes, I check emails every day. O no, I don't check emails every day. Largas para que practiquemos más. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok. De okay, so I'm going to recreate the couples. Solo que ahora voy a hacer siete, ¿ok? Here we go. Eh, Bessie and Ginny, room number one. Cristina and Enrique, no, room number two. Jeremías and Mario, room number three. Cesar and Ramón, room number four. Oscar and Sandra, room number five. Roberto Antonio. Oscar Arnulfo and Sandra, room number five. Roberto, room number six. Catherine, stay with me, Catherine. Roberto, room number six with Jacqueline. Okay, teacher. Okay, now ask me, ask me the 10 questions. So you are going to write your paragraph about me. Okay. So, so you're going to ask me the 10 questions. Go ahead. What are your questions? Okay. What do you do in the morning? In the morning? Well, <laughs> okay. In the morning, I wake up at uh, 6.30. I, I pray. You understand pray? Orar. I, I oh, pray. Okay. I pray. I pray, then I get up, then I take, I make my bed, then I take a shower, I get dressed. Well, after I take a shower, I brush my teeth. <laughs> okay. Then I get dressed, then I uh, turn on my computer, then I... Uh, 
I prepare my breakfast. I eat my breakfast. Uh, then I prepare the class. Then I teach a class. Then I get dressed again. Then I drive to uh, work. I teach another class and so on. Okay. Now, very good. now ask me a specific questions now. Okay. Okay. And what do no, you no, like no. to? No, ahora me pregunta que yo le conteste sí o no. Por ejemplo, oh, okay. si yo chequeo oh, correo, si yo chequeo tarea, whatever, okay. whatever you want, okay? Do you check email every day? Yes, I check emails every day. Do you prepare your lunch? Eh, no, I don't prepare my lunch. I go to a little restaurant and I eat my, my lunch in the school. Okay. Do you teach class? Yes, I teach. Ooh, all day I teach classes. Okay? okay, all day. And do you do you pray every morning? I pray every morning. And I do listen you? to some uh, Christian re reflections. Okay. And do you go to church? in the weekend yes i go to mass you understand mass because i'm catholic i go to mass on sunday okay. voy a misa i go okay. to mass on sunday and on mondays there is a, a in a video conference we have a little a, a christian celebration okay on monday okay. on monday okay uh -huh. And do you like pizza? I like pizza. I'm not crazy about pizza. Okay. <laughs> I can eat pizza, but if I can eat something else, I prefer to eat something else. Okay, teacher. And do you have a pet? No, I don't have a pet. Well, I have a, I don't know what you want to call it. A, I the mosquitoes are my pets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what else do you um do you I don't know teacher and the daily routines? Yeah, daily routines. What what do you think a teacher can do daily? What routines do you think he does? He, what do you do what? What do you what do you think a teacher does? What routines does ah, okay. a teacher do? I think the teacher does um first in the morning she lo digo en tercera persona, vea. Well, yeah, you can say that or you because you're talking you. to me and I'm a teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. You wake up in the morning early and you take a shower and brush your teeth. Uh -huh. And I think you need to teach every day your English class and I think uh, you don't have much time uh, to rest but yeah. okay exactly. I think I think I think but but I don't know okay during weekdays you understand weekdays Monday no. to Friday. Monday to Friday. Weekday, um, Dia de la Semana. Okay. I don't have time. I'm very busy. But weekends, I'm off. I don't teach on weekends. Uh, okay, and you have time to rest? I have okay. time to rest on weekends, on weekends. Okay, okay? very good. And that's it, teacher. 
Okay, I think Natalie, that. Now, the paragraph that you are going to write about me, yes, is in third person. The teacher okay. wakes up at 6 30. Okay. The breaks. teacher. The teacher wakes up uh, early to um uh, and he sorry and he um, teaches English wait, wait. class. What I do after I wake up is very important. El que teacher. Uh, what I do after I wake up. Ah, I... yes, yes, I'm sorry. And <laughs> the teacher prays uh -huh. every morning. The teacher um, uh, takes a shower and gets fresh. Uh -huh. And the teacher um, takes a breakfast. And the teacher does and makes her his, his, his and that and his his breakfast and the teacher needs two more time to rest in <laughs> the weekend on the weekend in the on week, the weekend in the week uh -huh. on the week on the weekend okay very good let me bring everybody back okay let me close this and I'm gonna bring everybody back. Hey, very good, excellent. Thanks. Carlitos, porque se viene un ratito, hijo, estoy en clase. Cuando no esté en clase, no tienen que estar. Ok, very good, guys. Let me bring you back. Let me see, everybody's back. Ok, almost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, what you have to do as homework is what the person told you that he or she does or doesn't do. Okay. So let me share. Let me share with you right here. So you're going to write what he or she doesn't do. For example, uh, the teacher wakes up uh, early, he prays, he takes a shower, he dresses, he doesn't check emails, he whatever. Is that clear? So you're going to write with the questions that you ask, con las preguntas que ustedes hicieron. Con la respuesta, mejor dicho, usted va a escribir un párrafo de lo que hace su compañero. ¿Está claro? Yes. Hola. Yes. Ok, very good. Very good. Now, uh, do you remember this? Yes, to refresh your memory. Ok, so, go to bed, wake up. Ok. Solo para que las repasen, ¿ok? Acuérdense que si, por ejemplo, yo tengo que utilizar este vocabulario para que no se me olvide, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Very good. Ok, bien. Le mandé al grupo... Uh oh, quiero ver, where is it? Don't do this to me, please. Okay, here. Uh, 
Ok, les mandé al grupo para que practiquemos más el día de ahora y el día de mañana. ¿Lo pueden ver? Ok. Vaya. Do you surf the internet every day? Does your boss give you positive feedback? Does Jonathan always turn off the light? Don't you ever clean your room? Questions about these questions. Hello? Hello? No questions? No. Okay. Ask me the questions, please. Por favor, pregúnteme si hay, si hay, si hay preguntas de vocabulario. Vamos a ver, ¿qué es feedback? Como una retroalimentación. Ok, exacto. Entonces dice que si su jefe le da retroalimentación positiva, que si usted, eh, ¿cómo es que se dice en español? Surfea en la internet. ¿Cómo es que le llamamos nosotros? Navegar en internet. Navegar en internet todos los días. Eh, Does Jonathan always turn off the lights? Jonathan Teacher. siempre apaga las luces. Don't you ever clean Teacher. your room? ¿Alguna vez usted limpia su habitación? ¿Preguntas? No. Teacher, ¿Qué es feedback? Feedback es retroalimentación. O sea, le, okay, gracias. Okay, excellent. Okay, repeat after me. Do you surf the internet every day? Do you surf the internet every day? Does your boss give you positive feedback? Does your boss give you positive feedback? Does Jonathan always turn off the lights? Does Jonathan always turn off the lights? Don't you ever clean your room? Okay, now ask me the questions to me, please. Do you serve the internet, Do you serve the internet every day? Yes, I serve the internet every day. Next question. My boss never gives me feedback. No positive, no negative. He never gives me feedback. Okay? Does Jonathan, Does Jonathan always turn off the line? No, Jonathan never turns off the line. Don't you ever clean your room? Yeah, sometimes I clean my room. Twice a year. <laughs> <laughs> Dos veces al año. <risa> ok, vaya. Ok, hoy lo, lo voy a poner en parejas tres, cuatro minutos para que ustedes se hagan estas preguntas y se las contesten larga. El propósito es que este vocabulario sea parte de nosotros. Ok, bien. Let me put you in groups. Ok. Again, pairs. Okay, let me recreate. Okay, very good. Recreate again. Okay, Roberto and Sandra. Room number one, Cesar and Enrique. Otra vez lo mismo, va. Okay, Cristina and Mario. Jeremías and Jenny. Oscar and Ramon. Eh, Bessie and Catherine. Room number six. And Jacqueline, room number seven. By a Bessie, room number six. Bessie, Catherine, room number six. Catherine, Jeremias, room number four. Jeremias, Catherine, room number six. Okay, very good. Okay, ask me the questions. Uh, Jacqueline? 
Do you surf the internet every day? Yes, I surf the internet every day, except Sundays. Sundays, I don't, I don't touch the computer. <laughs> now, wait, yes. wait, do you surf the internet every day? Yes, yes, I, yes, I do. No, no respuesta larga, vamos a practicar, Jacqueline. Yes, okay. I surf the internet every day. Do you surf the internet yes. every day? Yes, I surf the internet every day. Okay, very good. Question number two. Does your boss give you positive feedback? My boss never gives me feedback. Nunca me da retroalimentación. Okay? okay. Now, does your boss gives you does your boss give you positive feedback? Yes. Um, my boss, my, my boss, boss always gives me uh, always always give me positive positive feedback. Excellent, very good. Question number three. Does Jonathan always tour of the light? Uh, no, Jonathan never turns off the lights. Does uh, Jonathan? Ever turn off the lights? Yes, Jonathan usually turn off the lights. Vaya, pero como estamos hablando de Jonathan, Jacqueline, el turn, yo le llevar ese. Turns. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, Jonathan usually turns off the lights. ¿Cómo es? <laughs> yes, Jonathan. Yes, Jonathan. Always turns of the lights. Very good, excellent. Not the last question. Don't you ever clean your room? Uh, yes, I sometimes clean my room. Do you ever clean your room? Yes, I frequently ever clean your room. No, my room or your room? My room. Ah, your room. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. More questions? Do you do you do the laundry? Yes, I do. Yes, I, I do, do my laundry. My laundry. Ah, hacer la lavandería. Hacer la lavandería es lo que nosotros le llamamos lavar la ropa. Do you do your laundry? Okay, ask me. Do you laundry? Do you do? Do you do your laundry? Do you do, do you do the laundry? No, I don't do the laundry. Uh, we have a, a, a lady that she does the laundry for me. Okay? okay. Now, do you iron? Do you iron plancha? Do you iron your clothes? No, I don't. Iron, iron. Iron the clothes. Okay, take a look. ¿Cómo sería si plancha en mi mamá? Okay, aquí está, mire. My mother irons, my mother irons the clothes. My mother irons the clothes. Ajá, y porque es my mother, por eso le ponemos S al iron. My mother irons the irons. clothes. Okay, very good. Okay, let's get back. Okay. Vamos a regresar a, a los grupos, okay? Okay. Very good, excellent. I don't hear you, coach. Teacher, you are in mute. Okay, those were yes and no questions. Why? Because the answer is yes, the answer is no. Now we're gonna. La pantalla, teacher. Uh -huh, okay. Those were yes and no questions. Okay, now we're gonna practice. We are going to practice. Teacher, una consulta. Diga. 
eh, cuando, cuando estábamos con Jeremías hubo una interrogante. Cuando estábamos elaborando las preguntas anteriores, eh, en la parte 5 del, de la, de la, de la, del manual, donde dice Paywall, y aparece... Okay, momentito, Pero me voy a ir al manual, aquí, en la parte 5, ajá. Ok, ahí, donde dice High Fix, de AC on Friday. Ah, AC es... es ¿Qué es AC? AC es Air Conditioner, el aire acondicionado. Pero esa palabra, eh, fix, fix. Fix es arreglar. Ok, pero esa palabra, eh, eh, cuando se traslada a una pregunta eh, afirmativa, Ay, no, es, esa no se descompone, siempre queda, siempre así, porque es una no, palabra. No, Ay, al contrario. Vamos a ver, Mario, aquí, porque estoy hablando de él, y agrego la ES. Pero el verbo, en su forma base, es fix. O sea que cuando yo le digo, do you fix computers? ¿Arregla usted computadoras? El verbo va en su forma base. Aquí, como estoy hablando de él, y habíamos dicho, los verbos que terminan en X se le agrega ES. ¿Va? Él arregla el aire acondicionado. Pero si hablo de la primera persona... Solo fix, I fix, you ah. fix, we fix, they fix. Okay. ¿Verdad? Pero he, she, and it fixes. Lo mismo sucede aquí, mire, she sends. I, you, we, and they send. Pero tercera persona, he, she, and it, sense. Lo mismo yeah. sucede aquí, mire, cleans. I, you, we, they, clean. Pero él, ella y una cosa o un animal singular, cleans. Okay. Y, lo mismo, y lo mismo aquí, el verbo es keep. I, you, we, they, keep. Pero he, she, and it keeps track on the cell. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? De acuerdo. Yes. Ok. Bien, excelente. Va, entonces lo que les decía es que la siguiente parte que vamos a ver es double H questions, ok? Preguntas que ya la, ya la respuesta ya no es sí, ya no es no. Ahora la respuesta es información. When do you want to meet? ¿Cuándo quiere que nos reúna? ¿Cuándo quiere reunirse conmigo? Aquí ya no puedo decir yes, ya no puedo decir no. Aquí la respuesta es I, I want to meet you tomorrow. Entonces la respuesta ya es información. ¿Lo ve? Ya no puedo decir sí, ya no puedo decir no. Sí, a manera de comunicación, yo puedo decir, when do you want to meet me? Solo puedo decir, tomorrow. Lenguaje comunicativo, tomorrow, está bien. Ahora, para practicar, when do you want to meet me? I want to meet you tomorrow. ¿Está claro? Vaya, ¿cómo sería la respuesta de la segunda? Why does Beth always complain so much? What is the meaning of complain? Quejarse. Quejarse, correcto. Entonces la pregunta es, ¿por qué Beth siempre se queja mucho? Entonces la respuesta sería, Beth... Beth always... Always complain. Complains so much because...
don't like the work. Because, uh -huh, don't, uh -huh. because, don't like her work. Be, because she doesn't mm. like her work. Que a ella no le gusta su trabajo. Ahora, la respuesta comunicativamente solo es esta. ¿Por qué Beth always, si siempre se queja mucho? Porque no le gusta su trabajo. Ahora, para poder practicar, why does Beth always complain so much? Beth always complains so much because she doesn't like her work. Preguntas. No hay preguntas. Okay, next. Let's go here. How much does the ticket cost? ¿Cuánto cuesta el ticket? ¿Cuánto cuesta el ticket? Entonces, ¿cómo sería la respuesta completa? The ticket cost. The ticket cost. Y mire, como estamos hablando del ticket, que es singular, cost. One dollar. One dollar, ok. The ticket cost one dollar. Ahí no se utiliza el verbo para el costo del ticket es un dólar por ejemplo the ticket cost is um, one dollar sí pero aquí estamos diciendo el ticket cuesta okay. un dólar sí yo puedo decir el costo the cost is one dollar entonces es ok correcta para ajá ok or ticket cost Oh, the ticket cost. No, the ticket cost, ya es así como esta. The ticket cost, one dollar. Teacher. ¿Sí? Ticket. The cost of the ticket. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that is possible. The cost of the ticket is one dollar. Yeah, that is possible. Teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, y en el caso de, de esta pregunta, podemos decir, así como la pregunta anterior, solo one dollar. One dollar. Yeah, yeah. Comunicativamente está bien. Acuérdese que eh, nosotros esto lo estamos haciendo para practicar. Pero cuando me dicen, how much does the ticket cost? One dollar. Y actúo, eso es práctico. Es más, eso así es como se contesta. Ah, no. Pero nosotros para practicar vamos a decir todo. The ticket cost one dollar. Ok. Next. Why don't you ever go on vacation? I never... Go on vacation because why? I like money. <laughs> because I don't want to spend money. I might go. Because I don't want to spend money. No quiero gastar dinero. <laughs> But you need, you need a vacation. You need, you need to relax. Okay? Okay. Repeat after me. Why? When do you want to meet me? When do, when you, want when do you want to meet, to meet me? me? I want to meet you tomorrow. I want, I want to, to meet, meet you tomorrow. tomorrow. Why does Ben always complain so much? Beth always complains so much because she doesn't like her work. Beth always complains so much because she doesn't like her work. How much does the ticket cost? 
The ticket costs one dollar. The cost of the ticket is one dollar. The cost of the ticket is one dollar. Why don't you ever go on vacation? Why don't you ever go on vacation? I never go on vacation because I don't want to spend money. I never go on vacation because I don't want to spend money. Okay, very good. Okay, we are going to stop right here. Now, I need to talk to you about this, about the platform, okay? First of all, let me show you. Muchos de ustedes ya estamos muy bien, porque ya incluso ya terminamos casi que la segunda, la tarea de la segunda semana. Ok. Vaya. Por ejemplo, ya muchos ya terminaron la segunda. Algunos van todavía por la tarea 2. La tarea 4 ya está por terminar. La tarea 3, la tarea 1, eh, etcétera, ¿verdad? Entonces, necesitamos que trabajemos en las tareas. Ok. Porque para el fin de semana usted tiene que hacer el midterm. ¿Sí? El midterm. Lo tiene que hacer este fin de semana. El lunes ya, ya hicimos el midterm para que no tengamos nada acumulado. Entonces, ¿qué necesito yo aquí en la, en la, en la unidad 2? Necesito trabajar en la tarea número 6. ¿Sí? Necesito trabajar en la tarea número 6, ¿ok? Necesito trabajar también en la tarea número 7, que algunos ya la hicieron. Necesito trabajar también en la tarea número 8, que mire, está bien fácil. Y necesito trabajar en la tarea 9 y 10, ¿verdad? Aquí usted va a ver la foto y va a contestar según lo que ve en la foto. Sencillo, ¿verdad? Tarea, mire, solo son cuatro y solo tengo que venir a, a poner qué es lo que ve en la foto. ¿De acuerdo? Y luego la tarea número 10. ¿Ok? La tarea número 10, que es algo de lo que nosotros ya hemos visto, ¿verdad? Algo que ya hemos visto, mire, ya la podemos hacer otra vez, ¿ok? En esta tengan cuidado, la palabra correcta es reply. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Así que vamos para que mañana ya solo preguntemos y trabajemos. Ahora, el examen de medio término. Son estas mismas preguntas, no todas, son 20, pero salen de estas 50 preguntas que hicieron en la tarea. De ahí sale, de esas mismas, esas mismas salen 20 para el examen. O sea que el examen es súper fácil. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Así que... Les pido que todos nos pongamos al día para que mañana, usted el sábado, solo haga el examen de medio término y ya comencemos el lunes con la unidad 3 para comenzar a hacer eh, la tarea de la unidad 3. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. ¿Preguntas? No hay preguntas. ¿Con quién me iba a quedar? Dije. Con... Me parece que le tocaba a, a, mí. a C César Eduardo. Ok. Vaya, para el resto, thank you very much. Voy a dejar de compartir para verlos. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Ok. So please, ok. Hagan las tareas para que a los que ya lo hicieron, que son como ocho, los felicito. A los que faltan, 
vamos, pónganse las pilas para que mañana ya solo saquemos algunas cosas que ustedes tal vez no les, se les hizo difícil de las preguntas. ¿Ok? See you tomorrow. Have a good night. ¿Ok? And rest. See you tomorrow. Good night. Ok, and rest, please. Bye, okay. Se queda conmigo César, entonces. ¿Ok? Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Roberto. Bye, Bessie. Good night. Good night, Bessie. Okay, Caesar. Hola. Okay. Uh, I can see that for you, this class is kind of easy. Okay, so I'm going to speak English to you, okay, only. Okay. So, what do you need to know about in support? about this program, about Inglés Corporativo, about this course, about the platform, or any question related to English. What do you want to know? All of those things, that's what these uh, uh, sessions are for. Um, uh, ninguna, ninguna pregunta hasta el momento. ¿Estás seguro? Pues el vocabulario está eh, es bien práctico. Eh, la parte de la, de, la, de, la, de la gramática es bien entendible. Este, mm. Tenía bastante tiempo de no tomar inglés. Sinceramente. Okay. ¿Y no. qué? ¿A dónde, ¿A dónde estudió usted inglés anteriormente? Eh, en la universidad. ¿En la universidad? ¿En, ¿En cuál estudió? En la nacional. No. no, ahorita ahorita sigo, estoy en la Gavidia. ¿En la Gavidia? Ah, ok. Entonces, inglés 1 y inglés 2, o sea, los, los dos son básicos. Pues. También estuve en el ITA, ahí hay como tres inglés, más o menos. Inglés básico 1, básico 2 y intermedio. Ah, también esta de, de las carreras técnicas. Uh -huh, también hay un inglés técnico. Ah, ok. Pero es más que todo enfocado hacia la carrera, no tanto enfocado a, a la compañía ah, o al trabajo. Ok. Bueno, eh, aquí, con este, eh, con este programa de inglés para el trabajo, si usted ve el libro, casi que todo está enfocado hacia el trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo único que nosotros hacemos es, para que no suene tan así de trabajo, metemos un poquito de, de vocabulario cotidiano porque siempre lo necesita. Sí. Eso sí, eh, a mí me gustaría tratar de aprender ya el inglés así bien, o sea, sí fluirlo. O sea, porque a mí a veces sí entiendo más o menos lo que dice la persona. El problema mío es responder. Cómo formular mi respuesta. Ajá. Como que me, o sea, como que el vocabulario está, pero no me acuerdo de las palabras como eran. Entonces, okay. no, no formulo bien la respuesta. Ok, para eso es que nosotros utilizamos bastante, en este caso, ¿verdad? En este caso utilizamos eh, el trabajar en pareja en los pequeños grupos, uh -huh. Para que usted pueda hacer las preguntas que usted quiera. Porque no es lo mismo cuando yo le digo, haga estas preguntas, ya va dirigido. Uh -huh. No es lo mismo que nazcan de usted las preguntas. ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí es donde se debe poner las pilas. Y, y uh, ahora, yo veo que usted en este nivel no tiene tanto problema. Veo uh -huh. que eh, eh, como que es bien básico para usted. Y lo cual es bueno, pues porque eso le permite eh, poder practicar un poco más. Ya no necesito tanto tratar de comprender, sino que puedo practicar más. Exacto. Lo que pasa es que, sí, como le digo, este, ya había tenido inglés antes, pero no, no exactamente un curso así. O sea, directamente enfocado solo a inglés, sino que clases cotidianas. Clases uh -huh. de, 
porque o sea en el ciclo van y hasta ahí ¿vale? no un no un este no un curso dedicado a solo inglés a solo meterme de lleno en inglés y principalmente pues o sea no es tan pesado el material ni nada por el estilo el problema es más que todo la como el cansancio de del trabajo de entrar a las clases y toda la cosa sí y yo más, entiendo más la yo carga, entiendo más la carga académica que ya, que ya llevo, ya que, o sea, son los últimos ciclos y las materias son demasiado pesadas. Bro. ¿Y Entonces, qué carrera estás sacando? Ahorita ingeniería en ciencias de la computación. Ah, Entonces, okay. quiero decir, no, la, eh, en la computación es necesario el inglés, independientemente. Pues. Sí, porque la programación casi toda viene en inglés, ¿va? Exacto. Ok. Mm -hmm. Y, y... Entonces, ¿Y en qué trabaja, César? Ahorita estoy de soporte técnico en una empresa, este, Gamma Trading. Creo que Francisco, no sé si este, se recuerda de él en el grupo. Sí. Eh, yo trabajo con él. Ajá. Pero él está de la parte de asistente de compras, no, no en mi área. Ya que Ajá. en mi área solo estoy yo. Entonces yo me, me dedico a todo, toda la parte técnica de, de informática. Ok, entonces usted es el buzo en, en informática. Más pues. o no, menos, ahí la, ahí la llevamos. Ok, bueno, bueno. Es bueno saber porque algunas veces yo me topo con algunos problemas ahí que, que ustedes me han ayudado algunas veces a resolverlo. Pues. Exacto. Este, sí, o sea, se hace lo que se puede. Y pues, el, hay que tener... Siento que hay que tener vocación para llevar esa carrera porque muchas veces la gente o, o el cliente o el usuario se, se asusta al no. ver algo que no, que no es cotidiano. Por ejemplo, un pantallazo raro o alguna, algún suceso raro y llega uno, pues, y si llega uno tosco o algo pesado, algo por el estilo, siento que como que no le tuvieran confianza a uno de decir, mira, ha pasado esto y esto. Y esto. Bueno, y al final, pues, siento que es mejor enseñarle al usuario qué es lo que ha pasado y cómo se puede resolver, a dejar solo el conocimiento para uno solo. Sí, tengo razón. A, a mí me sucede que algunas veces este, trato mejor de no hacer nada porque siento que puedo dañar algo. Sí, sí, sí. Más de, de resolverlo, quizás lo puedo dañar. Entonces, algunas veces eso es se vuelve complicado. Uh -huh. No, la, mayor, la mayoría de usuarios así es. Este, se asustan, me llaman y me dicen: Mira, ha pasado esto y esto. Eh, cálmale, o sea, ¿qué es lo que dice? ¿Qué es lo que sale ahí? Vaya, sale esto y esto. Va, este, haga esto, haga esto. Y si no se resuelve, vaya, entonces voy a llegar yo. Entonces, así, lo normal. Uh -huh. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, no sé si tienes alguna otra eh, pregunta o, o pues, algo que te inquiete. Eh, pues ya más sabes más cuánto más. es el programa, ¿verdad? El programa son 18 meses. Todo el programa. Todo el programa. Son seis de, de básico. Pero los de básico solo son cuatro semanas. Son seis de intermedio, pero los de intermedio son de cinco semanas. Cada uno. Y son seis de avanzado, y los de avanzado también son de cinco semanas. Son de 50 horas. Voy, voy a intentar este, meterme al segundo, pero no estoy muy... Este, ¿En la derivada? Muy, muy seguro, ya que por la carga académica no sé cómo la va a llevar, pues, o sea como ahorita, digamos, voy a mediación del ciclo, ya va lo más pesadito del ciclo. Eh, bueno. voy, a intentar, voy a intentar ingresar, y de ahí lo otro, de que, o sea, lo que sí le quería solicitar, teacher, este, sería, no sé si nos puede mandar un material como los verbos. Tanto, Verbo, la, sí. parte, ah, tanto la parte de los regulares como los irregulares, ya que, o sea, como los irregulares, este, la la parte de la escritura cambia completamente a veces. En algunos, de, en la mayoría de ellos, sí, claro. Se los mando mañana en la mañana, ¿de acuerdo? Bueno, vaya, muchas gracias. Ok, ya sabes. Bueno, 
lo voy a dejar para que descanse un poco, ¿verdad? no lo quiero seguir cansando y ya sabe, estamos aquí a la disposición y cualquier inquietud, ahí está el WhatsApp Group, va para que me la haga llegar y ahí podemos ver en la noche cómo, si hay que resolver algo, ¿de acuerdo? O si ustedes también encuentran algo interesante y lo quisieran también compartir en el grupo, en la clase, pues lo mandan al WhatsApp Group y lo, y lo debatimos en la clase, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, este, lo que sí, lo otro de que, o sea, este, una vez uno de mis profesores, o sea, estábamos viendo la parte de las canciones en inglés, entonces hay ciertas canciones de que se sale completamente de la, de la gramática del inglés, o sea, como que es un inglés más caliche, o un inglés más, o literalmente lo que nos dijo el maestro, de que o sea, que se adecua el inglés para una canción que para una en español, o sea, no es completamente literal en, en la parte de las rimas y todo ese montón de cosas. Es que lo que pasa precisamente por eso, ¿verdad? Eh, algunas veces eh, se sale del contexto gramatical porque tienen que hacerla rimar o uh -huh. la tienen que hacer, por ejemplo, la, la contada de las sílabas. ¿verdad? Entre, entre las líneas. Entonces, por eso algunas veces se salen completamente del contexto gramatical para que rime o para que sea eh, simétrica, que le llaman ellos, ¿verdad? Y otra cosa es que, acuérdense, las canciones son para populares, ¿verdad? Entonces, Exacto. llevan un vocabulario eh, popular, ¿verdad? o sea, uh -huh. que algunas veces no es como el que nosotros estudiamos aquí. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Bueno, ok. Bueno, pase buenas noches y nos vemos mañana. Ok. Gracias, igualmente. Ok. Good night. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Ok. Ok. Good night. Ok.